Hey, what is up, everybody? It's me, Thunder God Comics, and I am coming to you with another Mystery Monday. First off, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I always appreciate that. If you haven't done so already, I hope this is a time that I've earned uh, your subscription. You go ahead and and hit that subscribe button to this channel so we can continue to grow. Also, do all the good YouTube things. You know what they are. It always helps out. So, also, there is a Patreon to this channel. There will be a link in the description. It's just uh, $3.99 uh, per month. If you want to check it out, fine. If not, that's okay. Like I said, appreciate you just taking some time to watch this little video. What we're going to start out with, I like to call little mystery packs. We got three little Walmart packs we're going to bring. And then we got a mystery box from one of my favorite mystery box companies out there. Um, as you've seen, they are called Second Alarm Comics. I've had nothing but success with those with those mystery boxes. So, without any further delay, let's get into these Walmart packs. I hope everybody's having great holidays out there. All right, we always know what the top book is. As we've seen on there, it was that Star Wars Boosh book. So that is cool. All right. What else did we get in this little pack? We'll see them together. An X Factor 10. Nice little cover. Uh, second printing. Tell you this, Walmart loves to throw them damn second printings or Marvel, whoever does it. They love to put them second printings in these packs. All right, next up and last we have a now this is a nice one. This is an art germ variant of Fantastic Four number one. There's a little book right there. All right, all right. That's cool. Let's see what our next one. First, our top one is going to be this Dark Ages number one. But let's see what's under it. All right. Like I said, I want to thank everybody for watching this. It's been a little while since I've actually dropped any videos and just been real busy. Um, but, you know. Can't wait to get back into the swing of things and hopefully do more videos. All right, so like I said, we know we got some Dark Ages number one because that was, of course, the top book. Let's see what else we got under here. What did we get? We have a Dark Agnes number two. Oh, from Robert E. Howard, this was a spin-off of Conan. That's what this is. It almost threw me off. I almost thought I had Dark Ages 1 and <laughs> Dark Ages 2. But okay, Dark Agnes number 2. Alright, I don't know really much about that, but cool. And the last one in this pack. Oh, oh, look at this. In Alex Ross Timeless? In a Walmart pack? What the shit? And look what it, what a, oh my, what's the chance? Somebody messing with me. Alex Ross variant. In a Walmart pack. Nice. And it's store number eight. Wow. That's, that's pretty nice. I like that. All right. And the last one, our front book, is that Moon Knight red, uh, red label. 
But let's see what we got underneath. I think these Walmart packs have been pretty nice. I, 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 I really do. I'm not quite sure the actual value on that Alex Ross store. Um, but I do know those uh, timeless variants. Some of them, some of them do hold a little bit of value. So let's get right into this. Of course, we'll get into the top book. I say we know what that one is, the Moon Knight. This one, pretty nice. A little bit of spine roll on it, but everything pressable. All right, next one in here. We have a Captain Marvel 32, Last of the Marvels. Okay. Don't know much about that. Don't really read Captain Marvel. Not my thing. And the last book from all Walmart packs is Amazing Spider-Man 71. Sinister War. This right here is probably a keeper for me. I'm pretty sure I don't have this Spider-Man one. Is this a Bagley cover? I think this is a, I think this is a Bagley cover as well. That is a nice looking cover. Yep. All right. Another real nice one to close up. So I think we did really well. Nine books out of there. That is, of course, I like getting this out of a Walmart pack. That Spider-Man I just sold. So, yeah, I think we did really well on those. Those are nice. All right. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Now we're the main event, what we're all here for. It's right here. Like I said, this is a mystery package from Second Alarm Comics. You've seen me open them before. Uh, had nothing but success for these. Each time I've opened them, I've gotten a real nice banger out of out of them. Uh, a lot of times, they get one book that pretty much covers the price. Um, this right here is thirty nine ninety nine shipped, so right about forty dollars. Uh, in total for this and uh, there will be a link to the website where you can go to purchase these if you're interested I'll leave it in the description down below but let's get in to second alarm mystery box like I said I haven't been able to do one of these in a while kind of really excited about it I have pulled nice books two other times. I have not been disappointed with the mystery boxes. I mean, they come packed so well inside a Gemini. Blue painter's tape, that's always nice. Pull tabs, gotta love that. Alright. Gemini out the way. And then they're even in another protective bag, like I said, with pull tabs. I mean, shipping is A. Uh, and I want to say there's five books to the pack. I know he was doing them before at three books but he's upgraded to where you get you see get more books um all right no real ways it says to start so and they're kind of flipped over which i understand that kind of makes it hard for a mystery unpacking you know i don't know we'll just we'll just start right here see if i can 
I can go like this, I can look at y'all and be like, hey, how's it going, everybody? Well, I flipped them all. There we go. Now I just see a single book, and we can see them all together. All right, Titans Unlimited number one. I have this. I have the variant cover, because the variant cover is Nightwing. Cool book, though. Titans Unlimited number one. Next up. This is a Superman, Son of Kal El. Um, it looks like he has a prey tag on it that says 15. We're going to run him through the old eBay grinder. Thank you, Stevie. We'll determine what the price is. But I understand he, that's what he has on there. 15. We'll see. I'm not too big into this series. I'm not going to go into detail, but nope. Next up. Oh, we got here Venom 27. This is a variant. I cannot see. Oh, this is a variant John Boyd Meyer cover. Now, this is nice. He's got a $25 label on there. We'll see. So six books. Six books. $40 all in shipped. Our next one is a, I do, 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 oh, it's a Department of Truth, number 11, Jawan George, it's a Nirvana homage. This probably definitely carries a decent amount of value. So, um, yeah, we'll definitely have to look this one up. He's got a tag on there. Looks like it has 30, 30 some dollars. Okay, we'll check. Next up, by the way, it goes, it's a really nice book to have. Okay, we got Red Room. I want comics. Doesn't, oh, I'm assuming it's number four then, right there. Possibly some sort of variant cover. Like I said, this one is really not my thing. Uh, but you know a lot of people that like that Red Room. And the last book is going to be a Winter Guard number one. No variant, really no, just a standard cover. No tag on it. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So that is our mystery pack. Six books. Uh, there's some nice ones. That's for darn sure. Six books. $39.99. Shit. So what we're going to do is did we get a winner? Did we get a loser? We're going to find out because I'm going to run these through the eBay grinder and I will be right back. Okay, folks, I am back, and, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> wow, I, that's all I can say, wow, um, so I'm right into the grinder, like I said, $39.99 in, so, Winter Guard, $3, these are just common covers, Titan United, Number one is seven. Standard A cover, three dollars. I did find out about this red room number four. This is a one in five ratio. Um best thing I could do was I found it for about six dollars. So right about twelve. Um the Superman Son of Kal El uh, has a little bit of value, a little less than that tag price, but Ten dollars, about the average I've seen it going for. So that's cool. That puts us out at twenty-two. You're hanging around with me, and then this John Boy Myers uh, Venom twenty-seven cover right here. Um, going for about on the average about uh, eighteen dollars. People paying for it. 
So we're at 22 and then the 18. So those books, you know, that page where it looks like we're about broke even, that's about $40. Um, but then we had this Department of Truth, number 11, Nirvana Homage, Virgin Cover. I don't know if it's some sort of GP. Some of the lowest I've seen this book selling is about $110. It's at least over a $100 book. Fucking boom! I have no idea. But apparently, over practically $100 for this Nirvana. I told you, get the second alarm. Uh, mystery boxes. They put in this right here is almost, this book is about almost three times what I paid for the box. Right here. It's over, see I've seen it selling over $100 consistently on eBay for the Virgin cover. Over a hundred and some dollars. Wow. So, to say did I get my money's worth, I would pretty fucking well say so. So that's going to do it for Misery Monday. I would say we got a banger. I would say that was awesome. I would say that's a winner. And I highly recommend that you go also and get yourself some uh, Second Alarm Mystery Boxes. Okay? Uh, great guy. I've talked with him a few times. Uh... I'm gonna send some, I'll send him a message thanking, uh, of course, thanking him for this box. But get out there, get your books. Uh, Second Alarm Comics. I'll leave the link in the description of the video to the website. Once again, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Do all that good YouTube stuff that helps the channels. And until I see you again, my fellow Asgardians, stay worthy.